Hello guys, we are here at a closed Toys R Us in Milford, Connecticut. And here we have the sign. The T is taken off from the Toys R Us. I don't know what happened there, but <laughs> let's check this place out guys. I was here before and um, I didn't find a way to like get through here because it was barricaded, but I parked my car across from this uh, liquor store. My friend is also here too, but he's uh, in the car. So trying to make this a quick video. This is uh, quite sad to see a Toys R Us store like this closed down. I remember I had ch uh, childhood memories of going to Toys R Us and also when I was uh, a little bit older. This is the entrance doors. get a better view this way some glass broken here <laughs> you can still see the racks in there there's some registers open there they're the register counters The registers are obviously taken off. I don't know how many there were here, but there's an Amazon box too. Some blue boats. <sighs> some other boxes over there too. These look like the exit doors and this is also available space release charter realty and uh, development the phone number. There's condensation in these windows. Can't really see anything through there. Let's go around. <clears throat> Yeah, I have childhood memories and when I was uh, an early teenager, I went to the Toys R Us in Parsippany. There used to be one in the Troy Hills uh, shopping center where I, where I filmed, I think like two months ago. Oh, well, here you can see the Toys R Us sign. And also over here, it's a much better sign. The side door, the door handle. And yeah, the Toys R Us that was in Parsippany is now, um, it's a fitness center now. There also used to be an AC Moore there too. And then that closed down. I don't know when the Toys R Us and AC Moore closed down there probably in the 2000s and then uh, LA Fitness came there and then that turned into East Sport of Fitness this is dirty there's a graffiti on that dumpster that uh, doorbell doesn't work These are, this is the shipping receiving area. They had two docks here. But the dumpster. Mm -hmm. 
and so the compactor looks pretty old and rusty. That's my car right there. There's where another sign would have been right there. There's another door there with no door handle. Trenton refrigeration products. Feels like fans to me. Oh, Siemens. And some more graffiti. <sighs> and none of these doors have handles on them. There's just vandalism on the outside of the building, but I don't see any vandalism inside. Seems like they closed the doors so nobody should vandalize inside. There's 24 hours surveillance, but I don't know if that even works. <laughs> Alright, that about does it for this video, guys. And Toys R Us that's closed in Milford, Connecticut. I will be filming two other places in uh, Waterbury. It's another 30 minutes from here. Gotta go up, Connecticut. It's only 30 minutes, so it shouldn't be too bad, but the drive coming to home is gonna be far. It's gonna be probably two hours, so. I I think my next video will be the Chuck E. Cheese in uh, Waterbury. Stay tuned for that. All right, see you on that one, guys. Peace out.